All right, guys. I'm gonna start building my feeders for my quail um, boxes. Yeah, I got a little mess. But, anyways, we have these, um, the size of the feeders. I just kind of drew it. Um, you can kind of see that I went outside that line because it just wasn't looking straight to me up top. So, but uh, we'll measure this and provide the dimensions um, before I do anything else. I just want to make sure everything's pretty close to how I want it. Um, I'll run it up to the box here. Yeah, and because I got that water bucket up top, it's a little heavy to to uh, be moving this thing around. So uh, about 13 and a half close to would be my max. So I'll probably make it 13 inches overall wide would be enough. It would be perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm just start taking measurements and writing them down. And it's not even yet. I, mean, I should probably try to make them some even numbers, but you know what? <laughs> it's gonna work. In case you guys were wondering, this one piece, 13 by nine and a half, four and a quarter this way, one and seven eighths from here to here. All right, it's just approximate. And then uh, I suppose you could do the measurement from the bottom over here. Um, probably looking at Looking at 12 and a quarter, uh, what did I say it was? 12 and a half, roughly. And this is nine and a half. So, basically, nine and a half this way. And measure back to this cut, which would be two and a half. All right. Two and one half this way. That's how you're gonna get your angle. Nine and a half down, mark it. Two and a half, mark it. Connected lines, cut it. Well, that's how I'm doing it. We'll see if any of it works. But um, basically, from one end to this end, so I'm gonna make it whatever angle this is gonna be. Let's say if it's a 45, I'll use 45, but we're not sure how I'm gonna do it yet.
well. I don't really care too much. No, we don't. It's enough where the food won't come out. That's all that matters. I'll seal that up if I have to. So it's going. Okay. Testing stuff and I'm measuring. Is that too much? Do I want it closer? Just want it flush to the top, that's what we know. Alright. <clears throat> I don't want that gap to be the same. I might hit not. Might miss that one. Okay. Oh, pretty good. This is where glue would come in handy. Okay. Now you see this piece will come down. And I mean, that space might not be enough. Yeah, about 10 and a, 10, 10 and a quarter. Ten and a quarter by 13. But I think a better thing would be is not to use plywood. Probably use something like this, drill through it, and then use a table saw to uh, slice them down. So before I commit any further, I'm gonna try something else here. One at 13. Oh, so I, I found this piece might work. I don't know. 
but I'm going to figure out what I need for width. somewhere there it is to figure out how to use them okay push a little pressure on there and then and then ratchet all right okay so we got Basically, we are going to do, all right, here, oh, I don't know what that is, measure from the wrong end, and they're basically, I'm going over two and a half inches, that's all I'm doing. Two, five, seven and a half, ten, twelve and a half. Uh, where am I at? Fifteen, seventeen and a half, twenty. And then You measure half the distance, which is, I believe it was a one inch. Mm, all right. Yeah, so we'll just do one inch. One inch. One inch. Not absolute crucial measurement here. Just get you. I mean the holes all together. I'm just saying. Uh, but the this I'm just trying to get center of. This will be two inches wide. And that's it. Basically, uh, boom. I don't know if I should use a different. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Well, it's cleaner. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Actually, using these guys until today. Oh. Okay. Ah. okay, let's whatever. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We want two inches. Right? Is that what we came up with? Two inches? Let's, let's, let's just do it.
this. No, no, that knocked out. Oh, man. What did I do? What did I do? Phew, crap. Man, I really screwed that one up. You guys see what I was trying to do. Do something else then, I guess. We'll just uh, keep that somewhat even. How about that? How about we just cut her there and cut her there? Oh man. Test it with just regular feed. It's got a mix stuff in there. Let's, let's just try this. Regular. Oh, there's food in there. a hold of 40 gallon 40 pound bag there's definitely food in there I just don't know I'm gonna test it out that's all I can do oh remove these two here we'll pop this off right here Oh 
man, is that gonna be a perfect fit? Let's see. Give me a tight fit. Can get in there. Might even not even have to. All right, see where I'm rubbing. I think we're gonna get it in there somehow. Let's dig it in the top. Of what it's doing. So we'll make it work. Right there. All right. Just digging right there. Just, yeah, that part right there is just digging in. It's just to clean it up a little bit. Like that. It's just enough where you just have to. There we go. Perfect fit. All right, I'm gonna have to, because once you put the food in there, there'll be a, there'll be some weight on it. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of this. All right, just um, uh, longer than I thought. We'll just. Uh, Bring it over here then. And right there. there. This is gonna work. I have so much faith. All right, let's get a scooper. What do I do with the scoop? Probably in with the food. If I ever have to take this off, I can just take it off to maintenance, clean it, whatever. It's quite a bit of food. Some views. Push this food back in. I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, this one's in here. It's low profile, so it's taking up no space inside. And I'm um, hoping you guys can see that. Take this off. Take up no space inside. See the sand right here? I had the sand baths in there, so they're all. Got some fresh sand bass. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna have to build three more. At least. Start. 